Good morning ladies and gents, welcome back to part two of how to extend your home. Today we're going back down to the extension job of course to carry on after days and days and days of rain, we're finally getting back on the job to try and crack on and do some more. So let's not hang around and get straight down there, oh yes. So here we are, the birds are singing, we're ready to roll once again. So this time, today, I'm going to get this flank built. So I'm going to get my line set up over here, pull along, I've got to put my periscopes in and under the floor here where these two air bricks are, but other than that, it's straight in, get the lines on, put a line all the way up to that end, pull a line to here and then pin into the back of here. We're going to get this overhand section done today, I've got the mixer running, so let's get some, some muck out. Get, get these boards all set up nice and high through here and then we can get on with uh, building this flank lovely so I've set myself up a profile down here I've used something called a Dutch pin here to fix the bottom of the profile I've just used a washer as a spacer because I didn't have any proper spacers on me just a washer in there just to keep it a little bit away from the wall so the line can move up this gap okay and at the top just put an F clamp round again with a washer in there just to keep it spaced off the wall. Just that little touch so the line goes through. Lovely. So now that's pulled through. I can get the damp tray on now. I'm a four inch damp through here. Get these interceptors in and the trays over them. Then we can start building the flank. Lovely. trays on there as well to go over them periscopes that I put in. I cut them at 600 long, unless you've got 600 tray then you, you just cut off a length, but 600 long, then you've got 450 of brick, leaves you 150, so you've got 75 mil turn up one end, 75 mil turn up the other end, and that's the same as there to there with the bed. So that's exactly what you want. So I've bung them in through there, lovely. Now we can finally get laying some bricks. Happy days. All right then, let the fun begin. Get some luck on here. Let's see what we can do. So I lift this up, put my brick on. Turn up to there. Bosh, pop my weep holes in, in a second. Got to get me from around the front.
rain has ebbed off. We should be out of rain now for the rest of the week, which will be nice. And I'm gonna be pulling through this section here now. So I'm gonna get my damp tray on, through here, bed this on, some muck up underneath there, fill all of these frogs up, run that through, right away one end to the other. Then we can start pulling through here. I've marked out where the bifold doors are. They're coming from this part of the brick here. Bush, three meters and 10 mil gives us there. So that's what we're going to. Three meters and 10 mil, giving the doors 10 mil, and then it works bricks. Lovely. Boom. So we'll run this bit in as well. And yeah. Let's get on with this section. Oi, oi. Right then, so I've started building a corner now in block work. Getting that up so I can get this corner built, then the far corner over there built, and then I can get this backed up because I don't want to leave this freestanding. And as you can see, it's quite windy. I haven't got any boards to hold onto it, so I want to get this backed up as quickly as I can. So I've rattled this corner out, and I've rattled that corner out, pull my lines through, get this backed up. Lovely old job. Along this side where I've got my periscopes going in, they go underneath the floor and through here I've got to put these brick slips underneath they haven't been put in I've noticed so I'm going to get them in, I'm going to bed them in like that, two of them inside this area and there'll just be one in this section here, I might have to clip it a little bit but yeah we'll pop them in there as well all the way through every one of them then that's nice and solid then underneath there then we can then we'll push the block back down on top of that that'll be solid then we can run our damn tray along and we can start building a corner over this side them slips all the way through there. Now it's going to bed these blocks down and then we're ready to run our damp tray. Right, so now the blocks are down, I push the insulation right the way down the bottom. So we're right the way wrapped all the way around. And a little tip, if it's springing, I'll get a wall tie, I'll bend it like that and I'll pop it in down there and it holds it off, off the wall. Boom. Lovely. Right then, let's get a damp tray down and then we can go on with lads and blocks. Yo! Chunk of block work up now. 
through to there. I've less access here because this wall's coming down, so I can still get through here. But we're getting on with it now. We're definitely, definitely getting higher and higher and higher. Yes. Now I've got to back this wall up here. That's the next thing. Back this up. Lovely old job. Loads of block work up there ladies and gentlemen, happy days, we're getting there now, we're getting there. Tomorrow we're going to tackle this situation here, get this all sorted out so we can uh, finish this bit of the room off. Then we can get all of our tails done into there once we've got this part done. And then it can take these all the way through and close this off, but at the moment we need to get in and out so I've left that bit down. A lovely old job. So that is the end of that one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. Not bad so far. So that's four working days so far I've been on there. And we're almost finished the first lift. Not mad, bad for a one and none. Ha <laughs> ha. So guys, don't forget, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe because it really helps the channel grow. And until the next one, get ready for how to extend your home part three because that'll be coming up soon. And if you haven't watched part one, Take, check it out, it's in the description. Oi, oi. Now, catch you later, guys. Peace out. And... And only, Surat. Oi, oi. You said it right. I said it right, oi. Can we get a... Ahoy.